is me, Inspired Gentleman, and today we'll actually be talking being blessed. Video number two. I mean, you have to be blessed for what you have. And not a lot of people like to be blessed for what they have, or they don't think about it because they have so many other things in their life. Everyone should take acknowledgement of what they have right now, even though it's not the best thing in the whole world, it's not like an HD camera or this, that, the other. It should be something you're proud of. Whether it's the bed you sleep on, the food, that little food that's left in your fridge, or just the apartment that you're living in. It should be something you feel proud of, even if it's not the best thing in the world. There are people in this world who don't have anything, like this couch, or the freaking picture frame, or this camera, or just anything. So you should be happy that you got to live long enough, maybe not even to have cancer, or it's just stuff like that we take advantage of. And I say that another reason because... I actually am guilty of not being grateful because, and I've gotten better at it, but I still need to learn how to be grateful. Even though I'm not the best person in the world, honestly, everyone's imperfect, but I learned that if I continue to have faith in myself and my God, then I know that things will be okay. And whether you believe in God or not, that's your personal opinion. But having faith in yourself does matter and does count. Whether you're being a superstar or you're just being a veterinarian or just being a shopkeeper or just being a sales associate. It's how you carry yourself that makes you succeed. I have another example would be I lately I've been feeling really pessimistic minded because I've been trying to catch up with my school classes and I feel like I'm falling behind just because I missed like two days of class because I have food poisoning because I don't have payments to pay off my school and I have to take off my summer quarter to pay it back and then I'll have my my um, swatch kit so my teacher yelled at most of us today in class because we don't have it and how irresponsible we are and I felt really bad because I was not good enough and I didn't think smart enough but that's just a part of life. We're always gonna have those shitty days where we feel really, really bad, but we can't do anything about it but move on and learn from it. Even though you're really sad, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have a car, you don't have a job, at least you're still alive, you're still breathing and kicking. A lot of people's lives are shortened very quickly. So what I'm trying to say is every moment, every breathing second that you have is a gift. And that we should not take advantage of it, but be blessed that we have it. Because not everyone is given that gift. Or even given the food that we receive on plates and foods and packages or the bed that we sleep on with blankets and pillows and covers. Some people sleep on the street, and I keep forgetting that it could be me, but it's not. It could be you, it could be your grandfather, it could be your mother, it could be anyone. Be happy for what you have, because you never know when it'll disappear, or whenever you never see someone again. So I will cut this short because my camera is dying, and I really care about you guys, and I thank you so much for keep watching. I worked on how to make um, a claw clip ponytail tutorial and I bought the hair for it and I've been saving up for this because I really want to do it and yeah just like my mom said you have to take a little step at a time and you can't do everything at once because when you do that you not only mess up your brain and your your process you actually mess up your whole plan and everything else and then you're all overwhelmed and you don't want to do anything anymore so you have to do little by little and that's the way you succeed by doing little by little, but you have to have faith at the same time. With every little step, try to do your best. Even if it's not perfect, it's okay. You learn. So, I'm gonna work on this video on how to make uh, these little clip-in things. Not clip-in, claw clip ponytails. I'm gonna work on this tutorial for you guys, and I'm gonna see you guys later. And, do see. Oh man, my camera is dying. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Okay. Ten things. Is it? Is it? How to lose a guy in ten days? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me not get distracted. Like good health. Like some people have cancer. Some people, even kids stuff have, have cancer too. Kids stuff. I mean, to say kids have. Cancer. Someone could be dying at this very moment, but you got to have that last. Well, you could and that last. You, 
I'm actually working on how to make um, your hair clip ponytail ha um, so you can do that per bad bad so you can do perfect next time.